What's up everybody, it's Ezekiel with Shoe Slide and today we're going to be answering another one of your classic menswear questions. Today's question comes to us from the comments section in one of our previous videos. The question is, how do I properly match the different colors in the different pieces of my outfit? Now that is a great question and it's something that we could really dive into, spend a lot of time with and really learn the theory behind colors complementary colors, analogous colors, and different color combinations. However, today I'm gonna to share with you three quick and easy tips to help you match your outfits and still look your best. Now, the first tip is you want to determine the level of formality for your outfit. By that, what I mean is you want to figure out as you're getting dressed for the day, are you going to be meeting with clients? Are you going to be giving a presentation? Are you going to be going to the office? Or are you just simply going to be running errands or maybe lounging around a bit? Now, when I have a presentation that I'm going to give at the office, I definitely wear a suit 100% of the time. So that is the level of formality for that particular situation. However, when I'm meeting with a client that I've established a good rapport with, someone that I've been working with for a while and we're very comfortable and friendly with each other, then I will take it down a notch in formality and I'll wear uh, something like I'm wearing here today, a uh, sport coat and some odd trousers. And last, if I'm going to just be running some errands uh, out and about around town, then I'll wear some chinos, a polo shirt, or just a nice button-up shirt with no tie and no coat. Okay, so the second tip, after you've determined how formal you're going to dress, then you want to determine the base color that you're going to be wearing. Now, I like to keep it super simple, and I essentially only use three base colors. I use blue, gray, and brown. And I found that by using just those three colors, it makes it super quick, super easy for me to get dressed, and it helps me coordinate a variety of different outfits, different levels of formality, different occasions, and for different seasons and different times throughout the year. Now, blue, brown, and gray are your base colors, and you can match a lot of different things with those three colors you don't necessarily want to wear those colors together all at once. That would not work too well because that is just too many different color combinations. I recommend using two different colors at the most and then pulling some different pops of color into your outfit through accessories like ties, cufflinks, or even pocket squares. Brown, gray, and blue are great base colors because as an example with a navy blue blazer like I've talked about before, you can wear that on many different occasions with many different colored shirts and a few different colored trousers. A great combination is a navy blue blazer and some gray odd trousers. You can also wear brown with many other different combinations. Brown is something that you can use during the warmer months of the year. So go ahead and wear some brown trousers. Now when I'm talking about brown, blue, and gray, I'm talking about the different hues and the different shades of those colors, not just the color in its most basic form. For example, if you are going to wear brown as your base color, go ahead and try on some brown odd trousers or some medium tan odd trousers or maybe even some light brown khaki chinos. Go ahead and play around with the different hues. I do that all of the time with different hues of gray and blue just to kind of give me more variety in my outfits but also keep it simple and keep it quick and easy to match. The next thing that you want to know is after you've determined your base color, you want to use a little bit of color theory to match the rest of your outfit. I'm just going to touch on this briefly and there are a lot of resources out there if you want to learn more about the color wheel. But essentially the color wheel lists off the three primary colors, blue, red, and yellow. Those are the colors that when you combine them, you can make all of the other colors that we are able to see. Now, blue, red, and yellow are the primary colors and the colors in between the primary colors on the color wheel are analogous colors. Those colors are 
composed of different shades and different hues of the primary colors. There are times when I do wear analogous colors. For example, I might wear a navy blue suit with a light blue shirt and a tie with some blue hints in there as well. So those colors would be all adjacent to each other in the color wheel and therefore we would call them analogous colors. That is a very easy look to pull off. You can do that with blue, you can do that with browns, you can do that with pretty much any color on the color wheel keeping in mind the time of year. Now, during the colder months, I like to use the cooler colors in my outfit. And during the warmer months, that is when I would be able to use some of the warmer colors that you can see here on the color wheel. Another tip to matching colors is to look for complementary colors. Complementary colors are the colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. Now, as you can see here, today I'm wearing a uh, blue sport coat with a gold tie. Now these colors are complementary because they are opposite each other on the color wheel. Now I do want to warn you, if you are going to be using complementary colors, make sure that you're not using the color in its most basic form. You definitely want to use a different hue or a different shade and not the bold color itself. So as you can see here again with my outfit, I'm using a shade of blue that's a little bit lighter. And with my tie, I'm not using yellow, but I'm using a gold, which is a little bit of a toned down form of yellow. All right, so now that you know about the color wheel, about analogous colors and complementary colors, and how to properly match colors, what I wanna make sure that you know is that it's essential to always have a shoehorn with you in case you need to remove your shoes for whatever reason. Here at Shoe Slide, we love and appreciate all well-made quality shoes. And the easiest way to ruin a pair of well-made shoes is to jam your foot into the shoe and crush the heel counter of the shoe. That is the one part that a cobbler cannot repair. So we highly recommend that you always keep a Shoe Slide wallet shoehorn with you in your pocket, in your wallet, in your bag, or in the breast pocket of your sport coat so that when you remove your shoes and put your shoes back on, you can easily use a shoe slide to slide your foot into the shoe without damaging any part of the heel counter. Now moving on, the third part in order to properly match your outfit is to make sure that your accessories are matching and coordinate well with your outfit. What I mean by accessories is watches, jewelry, cufflinks, ties, belts, and shoes. Now, the biggest thing that you want to make sure that you're aware of is that you always want to match your shoes with your belt. One of the biggest mistakes you can make is wearing brown leather shoes with a black leather belt. Definitely don't want to mix browns and blacks when it comes to shoes and belts. Even if you don't have a belt that perfectly matches your shoes. For example, I don't have a tan belt like these walnut shoes here, but I wear a brown belt that is a little bit darker, but still works well because they're both brown. They're both shades of brown. All right, so after you've been able to match your shoes and your belt, now let's talk about matching your medals. And what I mean by that is your watches, your cufflinks, and your jewelry. As you can see here, I'm wearing all silver medals, and uh, that is one of my favorite colors. I, I typically wear silver medals. Wedding bands are the one exception. If you have a gold wedding band, it's okay to wear a silver colored watch, silver colored cufflinks, but for any other jewelry, any other rings, uh, you definitely wanna make sure that they match with the other pieces of metal that you're wearing. Ties and socks. That is an area where you can definitely pull in some additional color and really make your outfit pop. Now, again, keep it in mind, the analogous colors and the complementary colors on the color wheel, use those colors to play around with your ties and your socks. All right, so one final thing, and that is your shirt colors. I typically only wear white and light blue shirts. I do that because white shirts are the most formal, so I can wear those with pretty much any suit, and light blue shirts are very easy to match. I do have a couple of striped shirts and a couple of checked shirts that I wear 
for very informal occasions when I'm again out running errands or lounging around then I'll wear those shirts and I don't have to worry about matching them with a sport coat or any odd trousers. However, I highly recommend that you definitely invest in some well-fitting white shirts. And in order to figure out how a shirt should properly fit you, I encourage you to check out our previous video on dress shirts. All right, thank you for watching and we look forward to more questions from you on classic menswear and classic men's style.